Hello and welcome back to EPT 11 right here in Barcelona. I am with the winner of the 50K Super High Roller, Mr. Olivier Busquet. Olivier, how does it feel to finally get your big victory here in Europe? It feels amazing. I mean, there's, there's nothing in poker quite like winning a tournament. And obviously winning, you know, Super High Roller is even more special. It's just a, a pure feeling of joy. You know, I've gotten a lot of second places and, you know, made some money in the past, but actually outright winning the tournament is just one of the most pure feelings you can have. And I'm just elated. Very, very grateful. I ran incredible in this tournament and just really happy. At the start of the day, of course, there was a long battle that was awaiting you before you could finally get that title. Yes, there was. Uh, walk me through the final table. So the final table didn't start off great for me. Um, I didn't get a lot of hands. I got played back at a little bit in the beginning and then I chipped down. And I made what might have been a questionable play with ace deuce of spades um, and ran into two kings with a guy who had me covered, and the flop came king 8-8. Eight, eight. I don't know how I won this hand, it's just unbelievable. It came ace-ace consecutively. I, was, I don't know what the percent chance is, obviously it's way below one, but it's just an unbelievable um, you know, hand, obviously. And then from there, people made some aggressive plays into me when I had pocket aces twice, um, and then I won, or I won a flip, and then against Dan, I ran really well too, so I just, it was like just a dream come true, you know, I couldn't lose a hand, I, everything that I was trying to do worked, I made a big bluff against Dan at the end and that was just, you know, he had a hand that was tough to call with, so literally everything worked out in my favor and that's, you know, that's, no matter how good you are, it's pretty much what has to happen to win a tournament, especially with this tough of a field, so I'm just super grateful. How special was it in the end to play against one of your best friends in poker, Daniel Coleman, who you were at the ra on the rail at uh, during the big one for one drop and now you were the one facing him heads up? Yeah, I mean, I you know, I don't want to understate it, honestly. I mean, it's a really special thing, at least for me it is. Um, you know, Dan and I have known each other for a long time. Um, there's no one in the poker world that I'm closer with. Very few people in the, the whole world that I'm closer with. And I was so happy for him in Monte Carlo, and then obviously at one drop. I know he's really happy for me now, but, you know, he's a person that I, you know, been sharing a room with and, and spending all my time during the breaks with and outside. And so for us to get heads up together, it was just like, we were just both really happy for each other. Like, getting second in this tournament would have been the least painful second to get. Um, I'm happy that I won. I don't really feel bad for him since he's won everything now. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was just, it was really special for me to be able to share it with him and, um, and have that experience together. Right. Well, that's Olivier Busquet for you right here. He gets his biggest live tournament result ever after defeating his best friend, Hands Up, so no better, better scenario for him. Stay tuned for more coverage right here on PokerNews.com.